Welcome to the Italian Football Podcast. Just to finish off, we want to do a little profile on Stanislav Lobotka, Napoli central midfielder, who really over the last year, um, but especially I would say in 2022, um, he really has developed into, I would say, top one of the top three central midfielders in, in Serie A. And he's now getting to the point where he's developing into one of the best in his role. In, in all of Europe. And he's a player that I absolutely adore watching. Um, so, Nima, tell us a little bit more about, about Lobotka. Well, he was born in Trenčín in Slovakia. Uh, he was, he's 27 now. He turns 28 uh, on the 25th of November. He he went to... He, he, he actually was part of... He was on loan at Ajax, uh, at their youth team. Um, and uh, he, he spent a season... There before he went to a Danish uh, team Nurhaland in August, and he was very very successful there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, he was voted Player of the Year um, uh, there uh, during his first season, um, and and in or actually, he, he, and, and then he was a, you know he was voted that again in 2017 before he he moved to um, to Celta Vigo, uh, signing on a fi- signing that for for them on a five year deal. Um, he, he, he only, he stayed there for three years, three seasons before Napoli signed him for 24 million euros in 2020, uh, in, in, in January, on January, 2020. Um, I mean, he is, as you see, as you've seen, he's, he's a, he's a regista. Uh, I think that's when he's at his best. Um, um, he's, uh, he was in, he, and and I think he's at his best when it's a three-man midfield. Spalletti's really unlocked and unleashed him ever since taking over Napoli. He's just improving and improving, similarly to what he Spalletti did to to uh, Brozovic and and Spalletti obviously calling him, you know, Napoli's Iniesta. Personally, I think he's more like you said, you know, uh, off air that we both think he's more of a Chavi than an Iniesta. Yeah, yeah, he's but, more of a Xavi for me. Yeah, he's for he's, me he's well. in he's in the Xavi Veratti mold. Yeah. Those, the t- those are the two players that 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 um, he 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 reminds me of, and and before his his kind of decline or his trust crisis in the last two years, Arthur Mello as well, like those kind of small, diminutive, just so good at breaking the press and and getting out of tight spaces and the little short passes and and playing in a in a team that's comfortable in, in control of the ball. I mean, yeah, he, he's he's beautiful to watch. He really is, and now he's really coming to his uh, to his right, isn't he? Uh, under Spalletti in this three man midfield next to Zielinski and of course uh, Anguissa, um, they it's it's really interesting. Like if you look at um, Napoli's four three threes under Sarri with you know Alan Hamšík, Jorginho, and now this midfield trio of Anguissa, Zielinski, Lobotka, uh, they, they've, they've successfully you know, rejuvenated and, and rebuilt uh, a new midfield trio. And, and it's really, it's, it's, an, inter- it's an interesting one. Um, he, um, I, I think that he might be one of those players that could leave Napoli, uh, unfortunately. Um, given... He's on the brink of signing a new contract, though, at the moment. So at least that protects them, at the very least. Well, exactly. Um, he seems very, very happy, um, and and because I mean, his contract does expire in um, in in June 2024, if I'm not mistaken. So it's hmm. uh, you know, sorry, no, actually, it's it's June 30th, 2025. Um, yeah, that that expires, so, so that does protect him somewhat. But it could, be, given his age, he's twenty eight soon. It, it is we're, we're heading into that territory where De Laurentiis starts to look around <laughs> when when he wants to cash in on you. But one one another aspect, and one you know another thing is also, I mean, in terms of off the pitch, he he had a bit of a uh, with the Slovakian national team. Um, he he was involved in in a. Um, in, in October 2018, ahead of a game against Czech Republic in Sweden, uh, there was quite the scandal when he, Dubravka, Shula, Skriniar, Jomber, Sat, Shatka and Weiss, all, um, they violated the code of conduct. And that forced then national team coach Jan Kozak to resign because he was furious with the third of the team violating the code of conduct, going to the, you know, leaving the hotel and going out. 
um, ahead of those two fixtures. And and of course, they both they, he apologized for it um, for for his behavior. And 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 you know, since then he's not had any disciplinary issues. And and on a personal note, note he's also married to. Slovakian pop star uh, or, or Daniela Nislova, who was who was half of the Slovakian pop group Twins uh, with two eyes, who uh, participated in the Eurovision Song Contest in 2011. Two As, eyes, yeah, Are twins. They called two or- no, twins. They're called twins with two, with eyes. two eyes. Yeah, well, twins. they've only got one eye each. No, not eyes, as in uh, twins with two eyes in the word eye uh, twins. T W I I N S, not oh. I ones. Oh, the, as right. far as I'm aware, they've got two pairs of they've got one pair of functioning eyeballs each. <laughs> <laughs> but but they spell it twins with two eyes. T W I I N S, and it's T W all caps and then small I I N S. Right. And they, and they were they were they they represented Slovakia in the Eurovision Song Contest 2011. Yeah, you know, I know you know everything about the. the <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. It's just, it's just a nice little. I thought a nice little. It's a nice um, little bit, of, yeah. It's yeah, nice trivia. Yeah, yeah, it sure is. It sure is. Okay, that's great. No, I'm a big fan. Listen to the full show and all other episodes by going to patreon.com/tifp and become a member for only two ninety nine per month.